Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to form clusters using single link technique. This is the solved example number one. The link for other videos is given in the description below. Problem definition. For the given data set, find the clusters using single link technique. Use Euclidean distance to find the distance between uh, two points and also draw the dendrogram. In this case, uh, we have been given a data set consisting of uh, six samples and uh, two attributes. X and Y are the two attributes. P1 to P6 are the samples. In single link technique, in the first step, uh, we compute the distance uh, matrix. To calculate the distance matrix, uh, first we need to find the uh, distance between each and every point. To find the distance between uh, each and every point, uh, we use the Euclidean distance uh, in this case. Once you find the distance between each and every point, uh, what we do is uh, we will uh, find the minimum uh, the distance and then we will start uh, forming the clusters. Let us assume that uh, A and B are the two points uh, with the x1, y1 are the coordinates of A and x2, y2 are the coordinates of B. Now how to uh, find the distance between these two points? Uh, that is using uh, Euclidean distance. That is the distance between A and B is always equivalent to square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Now, uh, given this particular data set, what we need to do is uh, we need to find the distance between each and every point. That's the first uh, thing we need to do. So first what we do is uh, we will find the distance between P1 and P2, P1 and P3, P1 and P6 and so on. Similarly, then we will start the distance calculation between P2 and P3, P2, P4, P2, P5, P2, P6 and so on. The same process is uh, followed to find the distance between each and every point. I will uh, show some examples. The remaining you can calculate uh, by yourself. Uh, let us say that I want to find the distance between P1 and P2. That is the uh, distance between P1 and P2 is always equivalent to square root of uh, this is x2, this is x1. So 0.22 minus uh, 0.40 bracket square plus uh, this is y2 and this is y1, 0 0.38 minus 0 0.53 bracket square. So if I solve it, I will get 0.23. Similarly, if I want to calculate the distance between P1 and P3, in that case, uh, this is x2 and this is x1, square root of uh, 0 0.35 minus uh, 0 0.40 bracket square plus 0 0.32 minus 0 0.53 bracket square. So that is equivalent to 0 0.22 in this case. I will show one more example. Uh, let us say that I want to calculate the distance between uh, P2 and P3. So in this case, uh, it is square root of 0.35 minus uh, 0.22 bracket square plus uh, 0.32 minus uh, 0.38 bracket square. So if I solve this equation again, I will get uh, the value as uh, 0.14 in this case. So in this case, I have shown how to calculate the distance between two points. I have given three examples. Similarly, you have to find the distance between each and every point. So once you find the distance between each and every point, uh, you have to form this particular matrix. Uh, you can see here, the distance between uh, P1 and P2 is 0.23, P1 and P3 is 0.22, P2 and P3 is 0.14. So that is what I have put here. P1 and P2 is 0.23, P1 and P3 is 0.22, P2 and P3 is equal to 0.14. So remaining distances you have to calculate. Once you do this particular calculation, we will go to the step number two uh, so that uh, we can form the clusters. So to form the clusters, uh, we will merge the two closest uh, members in this case. First, we need to find the minimum value. If you look at this particular uh, distance matrix, in this case, 0 0.10 is the minimum value. This 0 0.10 is between P3 and P6 because this is the smallest value between P3 and P6. We can merge P3 and P6 as the first cluster in this case. So it looks uh, something like this. P3 and P6, the between P3 and P6, 0 0.10 is the minimum distance. So what we do is we will merge this P6 to P3 and this P6 to this P3. And we remove this particular P6 row and column. So it looks something like this. P6 was merged to P3 and this P6 was merged to this particular P3 and P6 row and column was removed, it looks something like this. And this is the first cluster you can say. Next, what we are to, supposed to do? The same process we have to continue unless and until we complete all these particular points here. From the resulting matrix, we need to find the minimum distance again. 
from this particular resulting uh, matrix uh, 0.13 is the minimum distance between p3 p6 and p4 here so because of that what we do is uh, we will merge this particular p4 with respect to, to p3 p6 and this p4 to p3 p6 and we remove this particular row and column of p4 here so once you do that particular thing it looks something like this p4 is merged to p3 p6 and here also p4 is merged to p3 p6 p4 row and column was removed in this case again from this particular resulting matrix we have to find the minimum distance in this case uh, 0.14 is present here and similarly we have 0.14 here because i have taken only two decimals uh, you are getting a 0 0.14 0 0.14 here but uh, if you consider more than two digits this is the smallest one you can uh, try it out it's not a big issue uh, if i consider this one as the minimum distance between p2 and p5 that is uh, 0 0.14 uh, between p2 and p5 in this case so what i supposed to do i have to merge this particular p5 to p2 this p5 to p2 and p5 row and column we have to remove here so it will become p1 p2 p5 p3 p6 p4 the same thing goes over here also it looks something like this so initially what has happened is uh, p3 and p6 was merged to this p4 was merged now p2 and p5 were merged separately in this case so these are the three clusters what we got now from this particular resulting again we have to see which is the minimum 0.14 is the minimum here between p2 p5 and p3 p6 p4 so we merge these two things and then uh, we will remove this particular row and column here so it is nothing but this entire thing will be one cluster here so it looks something like this this is the entire cluster and uh, once you merge these things we have left with p1 p2 p5 p3 p6 p4 and we have left with only this particular what we can say that point two two here because this row and this column was removed in this case or you can remove this row and this column that is also perfectly fine in that case uh, here we will left with uh, point uh, two three in that case now uh, if we look at from this particular uh, uh, can say that uh, the resulting matrix the minimum value there is only one minimum value is remaining that is uh, point two two uh, we will merge this particular p1 with this uh, existing cluster we will left with only one row here it becomes something like this now you may ask one question uh, diagonally we have zero why we haven't consider zero if you consider zero all are uh, minimum only so that that thing we should not consider from the remaining we have to calculate what is the minimum and then we need to continue here so the final uh, resulting clusters are first p3 and p6 were merged to that p4 was merged p2 and p5 were merged separately and then these two were merged that is p3 p6 p4 with respect to p2 and p5 and to this resulting entire cluster p1 was merged in this case so this is how actually we can form the clusters using a single link uh, technique now we will try to understand how to draw the dendrogram it's a very simple thing first uh, we have merged p3 and p6 so we will merge p3 and p6 we will get this particular uh, uh, can say that the merging point to this one we will add p4 here so we will get this particular point now p2 and p5 were merged separately so we will get this one and if i merge these two things we will get uh, this uh, merging point to this entire one p4 one is merged so we will get this particular final merging point here so this is the dendrogram for the resulting clusters uh, uh, for the given data set using single link technique in this case so in this video i have discussed how to apply the single link technique to form the clusters for the given data set if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching